a package. It is finally here, our upgrade from the Rebel T5, our brand new camera, so we can start recording on this. It's gonna be amazing. We got the Canon 90D with the EFS 18 to 135 image stabilized USM lens. Let's unbox. Here we go. Okay, here we go. The camera is coming. Okay, we got, we so got we warranty. got paper warranty. We got here, we got a manual. We got tape, we got battery or something. I don't know what this is. This is this is the battery, hold on. Let's take a look, open the battery here. This is supposed to be a new battery. There it is. Ah, what's it? What in the world? That is the book information man. Who has time to read all this? Exactly, and what a waste of ink too. Paper. Listen, people. Really? When you're reading EOS, when you know something. LPE 6N battery? Yeah. When you know what the camera is and how it works, how it's supposed to turn on, you don't need it, ladies you and can, gentlemen. You can even go online for those magazines. Yeah. You don't need that paper crap. Okay. Let's look at the lens first, and we're gonna pull the box down, and we'll bring the camera up. First, we got the lens here. I'm gonna put this warranty, warranty, registration. Let's take this crap down. Here. Let's see this camera lens. This is the new lens, and here we go. 18 to 135 image uh, stabilized nano USM lens. There's the zoom. Oh, it smells great. Oh, it smells great. Smell that. Oh, this lens is gonna come in great handy. It's supposed to be good for video, so I'm super excited to try it out. It's a 1.39 uh, meter focus distance, so we're gonna set that right And we're gonna here. try it in our FLR. Yeah, here we go. Here's the camera itself. Canon 90D. Oh yeah! Wow, you can see physically differences. Let's 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 look at him. There you go. Okay, for one, it doesn't have this little screen. That's for one. This dial's on the left side here, and it looks much different. And plus, it has this little protect the screen thing. that moves out. Wow! Yeah. Here we got the back. There it is. And wow. here is some bubble wrap. You got more mic inputs. There's only one, there's not even a mic input, there's just like one little flap. Here you got three flaps for all the different mic inputs to use. Uh, we're gonna put on the lens and turn it on. The bubble wrap. Warranty free. And I already purchased an SD card, so I'll show you what that SD card is. It is the Lexar 1066X. 128 gig SD card. Now, 128 gig, it was actually only 60 Canadian dollars, so it's pretty cheap, and you're getting a lot of storage, especially if you want to record 4K, you need to get a 4K compatible SD card, so you want to look for that uh, V30 or more, like even V90 is even more, but V30 is just as good for recording 4K. And we can finally fix the problem with this. This does not, it has an SD card, but it's kind of stuck, which actually, Info about that. I was able to finally fix the SD card on this so you can remove it no problem. Here we got a Lexar 1000 series, so see it's only it's not V30, so it's not it's not good enough for 4K, but this is good enough 4K for 4K on this. You can't record 4K on this and it looks bad horrible in 1080p. This is gonna look beautiful. It's gonna look beautiful. We're gonna test it out in our FLR. It's gonna be great. We're turning it on. Oh it looks looks spectacular. Now one thing, I, the first thing I'm interested in testing out is the high uh, speed shoot. So it's touch screen, we can change that. And we're gonna go low speed continuous, oh no, sorry. Okay, this is low speed continuous. So this is how fast it shoots when it's low. Okay, so that sounds nice. Um, then if we go to high speed continuous, watch how fast this is. Wow, and it just took that that many photos. Wow, that's a lot of photos, let me tell you. It looks better too. And it, it's much bigger, but it feels great. Hold that beast. 
Oh my god, there's even writing on it. There's the battery on this thing. And I can see obviously improvements in this that I could have seen. Look at that. There's, there's the flash. It's probably burning your eyes. And this is the flash on this one. Yeah. Obviously, there's a big difference from this camera to this camera. They have all obviously added a little screen so you can see the battery. Mm -hmm. You can see every detail on there. There is like 70, 80D, 70D, 60D. Now a lot of people have those cameras. This was released in 2019. It's the 90D. This is more of a prosumer line. Can this is, this is much different. They got the Rebel series, so T4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to T8i. Uh, that's their Rebel series, so it's very simple, not not too much going on. Then you got the prosumer line, which is basically and there's people like us things. where you record and, and it's talk. really heavy, intense. It's really heavy yeah. compared to this one. The lens is heavy on this, but the camera is light. I mean, compared to this one, it's much more lighter than this. And above this, there are cameras above this. Then you can go to like the uh, 5D Marks uh, series and the 1DX Mark series. Those are upwards of $5,000 for the bot. Yeah. $5,000 is a lot of money. No, yeah. I'm not there yet. You also got the mirrorless line, so you can get like an R5, which friggin' it shoots uh, 47 megapixel photos, 8K. It's, it's a friggin' inc crazy so, camera. The closest to this 90D in mirrorless would be the EOS R. Closest to this in mirrorless would be the RP. The RP is about $800. This is the R, EOS R is just, I think, around $2,000. This is $2,000 with the lens. So, it, it's a DSLR APS-C sensor, has a 1.6 crop, but an added bonus is you can eliminate the 1.6 crop in 4K so you can get the actual focal length that you're getting on that lens. It, it shoots 4K, you can do 1080p 120, it has 32 megapixel photos I think, and I'm just, I'm so excited to start recording on this camera. This is going to be our new main camera when shooting our videos. It, We've been using the 13 Pro for like 13 Pro Max, but like it has 4K, right? Yes, it 4K. Does. But it's like a, like a next level 4K. Like yeah. it's, when you shoot with these cameras, it's pretty good. It is DSLR. It's not mirrorless. Some people will say, "Why don't you go mirrorless? You're in 2021. How dare you not buy a mirrorless camera?" Well, it's an opinion thing. Some people like mirrorless. Some people like DSLRs. I'm not um, on. Oh, I can't. I hate mirrorless. No, I'm not on either side. I'm in the middle. I would go for an EOS R, but there's not as many megapixels, and if I wanted to spend money on a mirrorless camera, I'm gonna go all in. We're talking R5. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like an upwards of $5,000. So, one day, then I can buy a mirrorless camera once mirrorless becomes the new standard. Because right now, DSLR, there's way more lenses to choose in DSLR as well. Yeah. Uh, the RF lenses from Canon, there's not a wide, I think there's like 11 lenses or something. This is just over hundreds of lenses you can choose for this mount. Plus, I already invested my money in EF lenses. I have a bunch more lenses in my camera bag that can work with this. If I bought a mirrorless camera, I'd have to use adapters and always carry adapters and buy new lenses and blah, 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 and it's too complicated. Yeah, this is a beautiful camera. You got all the mic inputs. So now we're gonna go on to all the tests we have to do. We have uh, autofocus noise tests on many different lenses. We have image tests, video tests. Unfortunately, we can't go outside the video test because it is raining. So our video tests are going to be inside. I will have some outdoor video tests of just outdoor landscape, no people in it. Uh, maybe me in it, I don't know. But I'll be filming on another day while I'm editing. But we are we are going to show you some some quick tests with this camera, and then we'll give you our recommendations at the end of this video. Yes. So here we have our first photo, the photo taken with the uh, Canon EOS Rebel T5 on the left and the Canon EOS 90D on the right. We have four other photos after this and let's take a look. So first we have a picture of an apartment building. Not much of a difference here between the Rebel T5 and the 90D. Obviously it might be a little more sharper on the 90D because of the higher megapixels. But other than that, it's pretty similar, not too much of a difference. And on the next image here, we have a picture of a tree with uh, some red berries and some or yellow leaves. And the 90D is bringing in a little more color and it's a little more brighter of an image, so it's bringing in more light. And obviously better quality, that's always gonna be the same because it has a higher megapixel sensor. So other than that, pretty good. Next one, I can't really seem to find any differences. Again, other than quality, 
uh, when it comes to megapixels, it's pretty much the same, not much of a difference here. And this photo, we have a picture of that same apartment building, but more zoomed out and on a different point of view. And yet again, not much of a difference. So pretty surprising. It's just that when you go to zoom in, cropping, it'll provide a better detail when you go into crop because of obviously the higher megapixel, but not much of a difference. I think this last one that we're coming up on now is gonna make the biggest difference. And here's the last one, and here's the one I noticed has the biggest difference between the two. The 90D has much richer colors, more vibrant colors. The Rebel T5 uh, is, the wa image is very washed out. Highlights are blown out. Colors are very flat on, and there's not there's not much pop in the image. But the 90D, it looks like it's been edited because the colors are more rich. It's more vibrant. The shadows are deeper, the highlights are not blown out, so you're going to get that nice blue sky in the background. So uh, this is the best comparison between the Rebel T5 and the 90D, showing how the 90D does a much better job on the colors, highlights, and shadows here in this image. And now let's get on to the video test. So we are now testing footage on the Canon 90D. So let's uh, sit down over here. I'm so distracted. I want to look at the screen when I'm trying to look in the lens. So this is at 18 millimeters. Here we go. Here's Logan. Woo! Woo! And uh, what if what if we uh, what are you what are you doing down there? What are you looking at? Let's see what let's see what Logan's looking at. He's looking at. Let's zoom in there. Let's show the camera. Is it is it Johnny T? Look at that continuous autofocus. Who's that? John DeVere is on the back. Oh yeah. Our and this is our setup over here. And here is the back. The North Division Champions. And that is our blogging test of the Canon 90. Unfortunately, it is inside. That's the best we can do. So, because uh, it's, it's raining outside. It's, it's, I don't know if you can see outside, but it, it is raining. So. Uh, that hopefully gives you an idea of long test. Now we're going to switch to the Rebel T5 and see how garbage it is. So we were recording in uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. And unfortunately, this is the best autofocus I can do. So I can back up to stay focused. But this does not have continuous autofocus. So I'm probably um, not focused right now. I don't know what you look at. But I no, you're not focused. Not the not lights are and, that, and that's And that's the Rebel T5. That's It, it does adjust Ish. for exposure, but it, like... The, this is our prized possession. Let me all focus on that. Do you hear how loud that all focus was and the brightness and all that crap it does? That's horrible. It's some crap. That's that's just bad. Yeah. So so just this is this is horrible vlogging camera. I can't even see what I look like. I'm probably you're uh, really uh oh wow the brightness man. Okay. Wow. Now so I'm not focus. I focus, but either way, this sucks, and and it's just it, it's terrible. Use the 90D. You this suck, Canon. You gotta, you gotta use camera. this camera, okay? This camera's a fuse. So, now what? Now what are we gonna do? So now let's move on to our autofocus uh, noise test. Here we go. Okay, so we're testing the autofocus on the Canon EF uh, 17 to 55, so the lens that comes with this camera. And it's continuously on focusing, and let's see if you can hear anything when I zoom in and out. So that's me zooming. Let me let me get close on something so you don't hear the zoom. Okay, so now we're using the uh, the EFS 17 to 55 USM lens, and this is the continuous autofocus. So let's listen. Okay, so this is 75 to 300, and I, I can, I can like... Now we're vlogging on the 18 to 55 lens kit. This is... Let me put the viewfinder on. So that's me. That's Logan back there. Ooh. And let's zoom in the back. 
So now we're recording on a prime lens, so this is the nifty 50 50mm lens. But I can't vlog because you probably can't see me. But here's the awful. Okay, so we tested the uh, autofocus on all the cameras and it was pretty, some of them were pretty bad. So let's take a look here. This one sounded okay. It was okay, it was not too bad, but still like your microphone will pick this up. This is a zoom lens, it's a telephone, so I don't know why you'd be shooting video with this, but it's really bad, but why do you shoot video with that? Then we got the H55 kit lens that comes with the Rebel T5 camera and it's it's still pretty loud. It's it's what are you ever gonna do about it? This is I would say it's okay, but it's also still loud. The one I have on the camera right now is the best one to shoot with. Obviously, there's a, the 10 to 18 STM, which is also a great vlog camera because I have to hold this pretty back. So I'm like, like this is this is where my finger is now, right against the lens, and this is how far I have to go back. So it's it's a lot, but. It's what, what are you gonna do now? If I had to order these in like numbers one to five, I'd have the one I'm blocking with right now. Let's say it's this one. That's number one. Then I would put this one in number two. Then I would put the kit lens in three, the prime in four, and the telephoto in five. And that would be my order. So that's that's it for uh, flip this around. That's it for the test, and let's go back to the video. Okay, so now it's recommendation time. So, obviously there's a big upgrade from the Rebel series to this series. I honestly approve of this. I will say this is a go out and get it now plus right here. If you're looking for a camera, you're looking for, if you're a photographer and you're looking for a camera to use and what to use and what's the better quality, this is the best camera. You can even vlog like this. Yes, yeah, you can even vlog if you wanted to, do daily vlogs of your life, whatever. This is the camera for you. This, not so much. Now, because this is a DSLR on their Canon EF line, the lenses are swappable, so I can mount this here and this here, no problem. Clicks in, there's no problems, and they are now the swap the lenses. Yeah. So it's, it, this, this is still heavy. This is a heavy body. This is a light body, but... So, this is for photos, and this is like a vlog camera if you wanted it to be. Now this, all, this, is also going to be for photos too because this the Rebel T5 only takes uh, I believe it's 18 megapixel photos and this takes 34 megapixel photos so almost double and what it means is basically when you take a photo it has more pixels it takes more pixels in the image so you can zoom into the image and still have a good quality image so it's better for cropping photos so this is a recommend if for your photography if now you're looking in this was 2000 came with the lens. Without the lens, it's $15.99. But if you want something cheaper, you can even go for an 80D, which I do not recommend. You might as well sort of for the 90D because it's not that much of a difference. If you want something cheaper, you can even go for a Rebel T8i, which is just under $1,000. Even the EOS RP, you can go mirrorless and it's about 800 bucks. And it's funny how this, without the lens, is worth the exact same amount than the phone we're using. Yeah. How is that possible? And with the lens, it barely adds, it's 500 bucks more, mm -hmm. 2,000. The reason I got this lens was because I heard great things about it. The autofocus, which uh, I'm going to test, is supposed to sound uh, very quiet because when you're shooting videos, the camera is continuously autofocusing. There's no autofocus ring on an iPhone where you're ear when you're focusing. But if I focus on this camera, on something, listen. Hear that? It's finding focus. If it does that during a video, the mic is gonna pick that up and you're just gonna hear er, 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 while it's focusing, and that's stupid. 
But then, if I go to this camera and it's focusing, well, that's the beat, but let me, let me focus on something else. So it should be, if I zoom in, yeah, so it focused, and it focused again. It focused, and read. So you're hearing the beat from the camera, but if I turn that off, you would hear no focus. It's silent. This is way louder. This That's, USM lenses are louder. This is also USM. I have STM lenses. And it depends on what lens you buy. The, the 18 to 55 kit lens that comes with these Rebel cameras, they absolutely suck, and the R focus sounds like it's oh my god, it's so this loud. This is a must. This is a must buy. Canon's new technology they recently developed is Nano USM, which is what this lens has, and that's why it sounds very quiet. So USM lenses are supposed to be a little more noisy than STM, and this but, is good. And this is good for taking like zoo pictures, so you don't distract yeah, the animal. Imagine, you can. This is the ultimate lens to use with this camera because you can be vlogging at 18. Now you do have to hold it a little far back. I will be looking into uh, a. T I think it's the 10 to 18. Uh, STM lens, which will give me a wider focal length so I don't have to hold it so far from me in order to get my face in the frame. But it also goes to 135. So I can zoom in and I'm, I'm like right up against the phone right now. So it, it, the zoom, this is, this is a very good camera. And this lens is like $900 on its own. But when you buy it with the camera, it's like $500. It's much worth it's it. Worth it. It's worth it. It's it worth it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. For it's the only extra one phone. $400, you're saving like $500. Yeah. This is a worth buy right here. That's it for today's video, guys. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and please leave that notification bell rung. That is fantastic. So we, we appreciate you watching. We I can't can. wait to start yes. recording on this camera. So basically, our FLR that came out before this video was recorded on this Canon 90D. We didn't mention what camera it was that was recorded with that video, but now you know it's the Canon 90D, which is what we recorded with. We hope you notice a difference. I have not gotten a mic for it yet, but I plan on getting the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus ultimate uh, cam mic, mic for this camera. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use the mic that I'm using with yes. my phone, which is the Shure MV88, recording on the side until I can get the mic phone. But other than that, we're really excited to start recording. Yes. We hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace! Peace.